Hey guys, welcome to LCK Summer. I'm Doa, that's Monty Crystal. And wow! Whoa! Whoa! It's almost the end of the regular season already! I can't believe it! Let's move into the game. SK Telecom versus Jin Air game number one. Let's see who takes the early lead. Go, go. Let's go, go, <laughs> let's go. So Doa doesn't have to talk anymore. Oh, that's the game. Got it now. It's all become clear. We are still paused. <laughs> so right, we're we rocking have, this pause. We have awesome gym shots of Faker, so it's we okay. Do. That's right. I'm getting pumped just you, looking at him. Do you like the cut from our gym? I do. I do <laughs> like the cut from our gym. <laughs> all right, let's get a game. So, Doa, do you know where the phrase cut of your jib comes from? Uh, it's like a sailing term, isn't it? That's right. I believe there's it a is. sail. Yeah, the flying jib on the front of it. So, right. liking the cut of the jib is the angle of the sail to catch the wind. Very true. Yeah. The more you know. <laughs> and knowing is half the naval battle, <laughs> as they say. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> yeah, I believe it was uh, Napoleon who uh, said that back in his naval battling days. <laughs> Didn't do a lot of it. Yeah, but, I was uh, going to say there. Um, yeah, you know, the English Channel has, you know, you need boats. Uh, yeah, France not exactly Many historically known for the power of their <laughs> navy. That was mostly like, you know, Spain and England, but yeah, we'll go with it. We'll go with it. Yeah, it was, I believe it was the great uh, Genghis Khan, known for his <laughs> naval prowess, <laughs> that uh, said that. I like the cut of your gib, Genghis Khan 2016. <laughs> I should be on Jeopardy. So I learned something interesting the other day, Doa. What? About Genghis Khan. <laughs> oh, really? Hold on. Wait, hold up. <laughs> Wolf is trying to mess with this red, but Bang is there too. So, interesting. Genghis what? Khan. So what yeah. I learned, actually. Uh, so you know Soju is like, of course, for those of you who don't know, the, oh. the national alcoholic <laughs> beverage of Korea. I know this fact too, but continue. <laughs> you do know this fact. Okay. I do. Yeah. I do, but it's interesting, so please. Yeah, it, uh, yeah. So yes, it, it uh, came from the Mongols. The, uh, it was, uh, I've actually had this too. So there's a there's a liquor from Syria called Arak. Right. Uh, and that is an anise liqueur. So or liquor, it's licorice flavor. So I've had that because I've had some Syrian friends. And uh, that was taken by Genghis Khan on his invasion of the Middle East, brought back, and then when Kublai Khan invaded Korea, brought the method for distillation, and that's what made it. Sweet. Thanks, Kublai Khan. <laughs> like, well, not really, because it tastes bad. So, never mind. A rock is much better than soju, for, for the record. Uh, well, I mean, you know, back in the day, they called Cloud Templar the herbivore jungler because he was very much farming focused rather than uh, ganking focus. I feel like Blank is the ultimate herbivore. He's more like the vegan jungler. He doesn't even touch, like, eggs and stuff. Bull. Only, well, I mean, the thing is, is all the monsters in the jungle are mean, so. Can you really be an herb herbivore jungler to begin with? Questioning my whole world view. Well, now. I think the brambleback is technically a plant. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> I mean, the blue buff is technically rocks. <laughs> so. Uh, the Krugs are made out of rocks, too. That's true. It's really only wolves and raptors. Yeah, if you, and, and the Gromp. And the Gromp. If you avoid them, you can be. But the Gromp is sort of like a mushroom jungler. toad, so is he? Could be a vegetable. But what if you just eat the mushrooms off his back? Ocean Drake. Let's see. Yeah, whatever. Whatever, Hector. Go back and do something. He's a scary centaur, okay? He is. Except for the arcade Hector, and that's not very scary. Then he's a tubular centaur. A radical centaur. Is that what gamers are? Are we tubular and well, or radical? The reason I said that is because the gaming thing is sort of a throwback, 8-bit sort of uh, gaming references. You know, back when people said things like tubular and radical. Only if you were a surfer, Noah. Or you just were really into Ninja Turtles. I lived in <laughs> Wisconsin. I said radical all the time. Did you surf in Wisconsin? <laughs> of course not. But I watched a lot of Ninja Turtles. Why were they surfers, by the way? But they weren't. Really? Well, tubular is a specific surfing term, that's why I ask. Yeah, but they, I don't know, they, they, I mean, Michelangelo rode a skateboard. You can't really surf in New York, or at least not in New York City, anyway. So, 
out there is surfing the East River. Oh, well, you can surf on Coney Island, so maybe they, oh. maybe they surf there. Maybe. Oh. Oh, nearly taken down. Meanwhile, SK Telecom trying to track down Wing. Blank uh -oh. gets taken out. <laughs> Sniped. Wow. I've got you in my sights. <laughs> That's right. Unfortunately, this doesn't aim bot, Doa. No, that's just uh, bang bot. I mean, bang aim. Bang. There's no good way to say that, really. <laughs> you know what I mean. Bang killed him. <laughs> Please don't say bang bot. <laughs> <laughs> I call him like I see him, Monte Cristo. Out of mana, and then they delay it long enough for Wolf to show up at the perfect time. Yep. Whoops. Oops. <laughs> Unlucky. Unlucky. <laughs> Season. So every game counts. <laughs> win. Generic Gener green wings win. Wow, I want sunglasses that I can program to say things. That'd be cool. Now I know what I want you to get me for Christmas, Monty. All right. I'm Make on Make sure it. you write that down. Okay. All right. I'll program to say D O A S U X. No, no. no. <laughs> so when, I, you, when you open them, <laughs> I get to, you would do that. I am the one who gets to program. Them. Look at my programmable sunglasses. They're gonna say I'm the captain now. <laughs> well, that'd be really a long message for those I'm sunglasses that can only fit uh, three letters at a time. Cap ten. No, no. cap tie cap and ten, no. now. Tom Hanks would go to sleep by the time it's over. That's the important thing. So, you know, I was reading the... I was reading this article the other day. Speaking of Tom Hanks, oh yeah, that made a very interesting observation about the movie Big. What's that? The 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 thesis of this article was that if you can't make Big anymore, because the way that thirty year olds behave in the modern day would actually be uh, Tom Hanks Big would actually be an accurate representation of the way the thir that thirty year olds behave <laughs> right now. I was like, I can't even argue with that. I would totally go to F.A.O. Schwartz and play on a giant piano. Yeah, totally. So I, the, I think it just shows that the world has become a better place. Well, we can disagree on that. <laughs> For, you know, us. <laughs> I'm not, All I'm right. not sure. I know who is watching the Republican <laughs> National Convention. I just thought it was a, a funny observation that big, big, nobody could take that movie seriously if you remade it because people who are 30 year olds actually behave like that and it's become a social norm, especially in the tech industry. Well, luckily there aren't a whole lot of big pianos to dance on. Is that lucky? Because everybody's using their phone to sound like a T Pain, <laughs> which is kind of the giant piano of the modern uh, era, isn't it? Truly the Beethoven of his time. <laughs> Yep. Rename himself, rename himself Beethoven. <laughs> Which, if I was going to be a professional wrestler, <laughs> and I wanted to be like a classical music themed professional wrestler, I would be Beethoven. That'd Why be great. Can you wear like this? one of those roughly shirts? Yeah, and like a big powdered wig. <laughs> That'd be awesome. <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> that would be great. I'm going to stop doing esports and start uh, writing professional wrestling. I was hoping that it was going to be be a professional wrestler. I can but do that I'll too. I'll take that. Bulk up a bit. You don't need to do too much. You're like most of the way there already. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> then I will be pain open. <laughs> <laughs> Almost there. Nice, nice leap, Blank. Uh, by nice leap, I meant to make fun of you because you failed it. I'm sorry. What do you expect from pain open? <laughs> that's right. Oh, that's a, that's a, oh, oh, I don't know, Blank. No. And then my, my signature move could be the major knee. <laughs> the it, wouldn't, it wouldn't be the fugue, Doa. <laughs> <laughs> could be that, too. Could be that, too. That's right. Oh, ink in time. Nope, just kidding. Have a spear. Speaking of not fugues. <laughs> well, you can't always get what you want, you know? Unless you're pain, Hoven, and then you just take it. You compose it, I believe you That's right. <laughs> you know, I might change my classical music theme professional wrestling name from uh, Painhoven. It could also be uh, Beethoven. Or work. Trace trying to get out of the gap. Really? It would be Beethoven? How Beethoven. about Chopin? 
<laughs> That'd be my sidekick. You could be Chopin. I, I, okay. Well, I like Beethoven. <laughs> Beethoven and Chopin. I still Chopin. like Painhoven better, but Chopin. You can't have Painhoven and Chopin. All right, so you can have Beethoven. And Chopin. All right, Chopin. we'll do it. There you go. That's we'll have right. a tag team duo. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to drop an octave on them. That's right. Our special tag team move will be Fugue and Harmony. There we go. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's our finisher. <laughs> well, I don't know how we top that now, though. I don't know. I don't know where to go. Yeah. That was pretty good. <laughs> it's a pause. And there it is. A pause. And what is the issue? Looks like it is with Wolf. It's like, uh, Wolf, yeah, uh, we noticed you died. <laughs> Next time, he's like, well, uh, see, my team didn't help me. They came and trapped me under turret. <laughs> Can you do something about that? <laughs> Can you tell them they have to stay in lane when I'm there or <laughs> tell me to right. leave? Can you tell them to stop blaming me when we lose? Because that's what happens to every support. Usually it's the jungler who gets blamed. Jungler too, yeah. One of the two, right? It's either Vayne I feel, tumbling into I the 1v5, feel like like, you didn't support me. I feel like supports get blamed less than any other role. No, that is that is spoken like a true jungler. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know what's going on here. <laughs> All right. Monty Crystal, All the right, jungler, Twitter. telling the support which, player they don't get blamed which, for things in solo which, queue. Which role gets blamed the least in solo queue? Pretty sure it's support. It's absolutely not support. <laughs> I would guess it's probably top laner. Top or mid. I think mid yeah. gets blamed a lot for not roaming. I think it's going to be uh, either top or mid. <laughs> yeah. But it's definitely, like, support gets blamed a lot, though. Because you have your big, you know, ultimate. You're like, why didn't you tidal wave? Why didn't you do blah, 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 you know? <laughs> it's like, well, I just had to use it to save my stupid vein five minutes ago. So, well, five seconds ago, so it's not up again. You've reopened some old wounds. <laughs> I, I can tell. Just put <laughs> some salt straight in those wounds. That's right. I hit a three-man flash, Tibbers, and everybody else just dies to the Katarina. Well, it's not my fault. It's not my fault you couldn't. Nobody could use their CC on her when she came in. Nobody could capitalize on my fantastic engage. I'm not the problem here. They are. <laughs> ah, the true solo queue mentality. There you go. I got it. Representing every player of the planet with that <laughs> line. I'm not the problem, they are. Yep. It's a classic. It's a video game, <laughs> multiplayer classic. <laughs> and it always will be. Oh, yes. All right, back in game. Yeah. I feel like we understand the gaming universe a bit better now, though. We've all bonded <laughs> over our shared experiences. Now we're ready to watch some League of Legends together again. Where we don't have to blame anybody. Or we could just blame one of the people who's not on our team that didn't cause us to lose. Yeah, that's true. It's even better blaming. I blame Benki. <laughs> for Janair's loss. <laughs> I don't know why. Sam? Uh, Junior Gun's on fire. That's okay, good. It's out now. That was It was just overheating. Dangerous. Yeah. That's why he has the asbestos gloves on, <laughs> Doha. I've heard those are really good for, like, uh, rubbing your eyes with it stuff in case you get something in your eyes. You, know, it's you can use it as a mask if you need to, to uh, protect yourself from smoke. Just breathe deeply through that uh, asbestos. <laughs> Did you know that Charlemagne had an asbestos tablecloth? Doesn't sound like a good idea. Well, it was the, mid mid it was the medieval times, though, and they didn't know it wasn't a good idea. But you know why he had it? Why? Because at feasts, apparently, it was quite spectacular to clean the table by lighting it on fire. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, until your entire court dies of cancer, but yes. <laughs> well, the damage on the Kuzan passive gets popped. But I want to, if I have a feast, I want to clean it with fire, too. That sounds awesome. Uh, I'm not coming to your asbestos tablecloth. Well, it won't no. be asbestos. It'll be, <laughs> you know, like, whatever you use instead of asbestos these days. <laughs> well, asbestos is still the best of that, so... Asbestos is the it, it, it is. At being a being not on fire. A fiber that is fiber that is fireproof, yes. It's quite good at it being that thing. Alright. I think it's still cool. Not asbestos, but clearing your table with a 
huge fire. Yeah, well, I mean, Charlemagne was a cool guy. What can you say? It leads into dessert so nicely because you can just roast marshmallows, make s'mores over your burning table. Seems pretty good. We'll have a big outdoor feast sometime. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how to respond to that. <laughs> you just say okay. It sounds great. It does sound great. Yeah. That warrior in Jam Wolf just gonna grab that up and help. Oh. Oh. oh, he deserved it. He deserved. He worked really hard for that. I support Wolf in his taking of the big raptor. Yeah, disappointing. Sad times for Blank, but it's okay. There's plenty of other farm in the jungle, as they say. Do they say that? Yeah. <laughs> so you tell people when you steal their yeah, that's what you buffs say. And things. There's plenty of farm in the jungle. There's plenty of other farm in the jungle. Just calm down. Chill out. That's right. I was going for a farming community in that uh, City Skyline game. You know, it's like the better oh, yeah, yeah, of yeah, cities. Yeah, yeah. And, and uh, I was doing well until I, I couldn't afford to buy a graveyard. And uh, so then the bodies started to pile up. And uh, then people started getting, getting sick. And then uh, everybody was sick and couldn't work. My town completely collapsed. So. <laughs> So uh, I, I learned a valuable lesson. Make sure you save up for the graveyard. <laughs> wow. Uh, Otherwise, your town will become a wasteland very quickly. <laughs> Is that what happened to you in the farming communities you lived in the Midwest in, Noah? <laughs> well, we had graveyards. The cemetery was OK. You didn't have a, a pile of bodies no, it was making like, everybody sick. It was like bodies in the convenience store and stuff like, come on. You know, at, at a certain point, you think those townsfolk would be a little bit more practical and just be like, all right, we're going to bury this guy in our backyard. Do they not have Seriously. shovels? Oh, Bang's going to need a funeral pretty soon here, I think. Wolf trying to save him. SK Telecom trying to turn this one around. Baker finds Kuzan. <laughs> going to go out to the right one, I guess. I don't know. Pilot. Kuzan okay. tried to fake him out. Nice try. You can't fake the faker. Nope. Oh, all right. All right, Duke needs to play it safe. Remember, he doesn't have the GA anymore. He's got that dead man's plate now. But he doesn't want to be a dead man. Well, he's a troll, so he's only making dead man. He's not actually going to be one of them. All right, so I should have said he doesn't want to be dead, man. <laughs> okay, fair enough. That works. Get that comment in there. Yeah, Comes dead, for clarity. comma, man. Cool. Coming in. And Duke going out. Duke in, Duke out. Oh, man. Well, I mean, normally it only takes one apocalyptic team fight to end the game, but it's taking like, like six. six already? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think that's about right. And finally, it's 67 minutes in one of the messiest, ugliest series of League of Legends we have ever seen. SK Telecom will finally, finally win this game. Well, say it what you like about disgusting, that. disgusting, <laughs> but it was exciting. GG. Say what you like about that game, Doa, but the tension at the end of oh, that no kidding. was so interesting and well played by both teams. Once again, just running around with this Jin in his mouth, waits until the retreat starts, and that's where Jin comes in and lands the root. I like to put Jin in my mouth sometimes, too. I love Jin in my mouth, especially <laughs> Martini's man. Yeah, exactly. My favorite. Us and Tom Kench, we got a lot in common. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. That was uh, an interesting series, wasn't it? Let's it was, look at those results. It was a bit like Kesha, a hot mess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I guess that's one way to describe it. That's a very appropriate thing. That, SKT. that series was Kesha. That series was, I don't know, this series was like the first time I tried to make an omelet and I couldn't like keep the egg together and everything just ended up everywhere. But it still tasted good in the end. <laughs> just like the excitement that we had at the end of that game. So yes. um, apparently Rox Tigers is up 1-0 right now. Yeah, that's right. In other news, Rox Tigers has beaten MVP in one game. Uh, and we will bring you game two maybe at some now? point. Maybe now? Maybe now? Maybe after a little break? We don't really know. It's We're mystery. just going to roll with it. Because game two is, yeah. Do we but just roll with the punches, don't we, Doha? That's right. I guess we'll be back in a few, so don't go anywhere. We'll be showing League of Legends, so, uh, and, and we'll be casting it. It'll be fun. 
We'll see you in just a few. Hey, what's up, guys? Wow. Th yo, we got surprised there. Yo, yo, it's LCK Summer Game 2. Rocks Tigers versus MVP. I was literally putting food to my mouth when the <laughs> when the theme song started, and I knew, I knew Monte Cristo, it was time to cast some League of Legends. So I put down that food, and I put on my headset, and uh, now I'm ready. So Rocks Tigers have won game one. I won that series 2-1 instead of 2-0, because when it comes to game differential, these two teams were tied up going into today, and now, uh, obviously, it's probably not going uh -oh. to be. Whoa, Max gets bloodthirsty, drops the ignite. Not gonna be enough. Yeah, I'm, it might be enough as ADD comes in, but Gorilla right there to save his top laner. Max goes for another Cosmic Binding, but it's not connect. Uh-oh, Kuro right Goodbye, there. Max. First blood goes over to Kuro. Now, Max, I appreciate <laughs> that you were being bloodthirsty. That's cool, but maybe don't do it deep in the enemy jungle next time. Now Smeb comes in and helps Corral. He's just a, he's a sheepdog. Yeehaw. Yeah, that's what sheepdogs say. I was thinking more of the, uh, the cowboys that are helping Corral the, <laughs> the you know, huge dangerous herds what of sheep. What does the sheepdog say? Yeehaw. <laughs> Pretty sure that's right. I was never good at those <laughs> those books when you were a kid that you pulled the thing and it made a sound. Uh, I make my own farm animal sounds. And they all sound like cowboys. <laughs> that's right. Yeehaw. And they also say things like, it's high noon. Well, oh, that's a uh, miss that arrow. It's kind of funny to say that as arrow miss, but anyway. They also say things like, ah, I'm your huckleberry. <laughs> Which animal says that? That's uh, the, uh-oh. No, nope. all right, Smeb flashes out of the CC. That's the, the wild decree, says that one. <laughs> How come nobody plays the Sultan gang game? Yeah, that one's awesome. I feel like, isn't Smeb playing that one? No, he's playing the toy soldier. Really? Yes. Oh, I thought it was the Sultan. He definitely doesn't look like a salt I guess I'm not as familiar with my GP skins <laughs> as I thought I was. I would argue you're not as familiar with sultans as you thought you were. Maybe you should uh, look up maybe, some pictures of the Ottomans. Maybe both. Hey, I watched Aladdin. <laughs> I know what Jasmine's dad wears. All right. Uh, yeah, you're right. He is the toy soldier. He actually has a crank in his back. <laughs> what? I, did you know that soldiers People don't, have, those? don't <laughs> have cranks in their backs? Not it actually wasn't part of the traditional Ottoman dress. How do they... Weird, right? I know. How do they walk around? Must be batteries. <laughs> Sultan batteries. Uh oh, ADD. Oh, ADD as he comes back in. And Smeb looking for another one. Parlay? Nope. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Yup, yup. Parlay. Yes. We've reached an accord. <laughs> I don't know. Well, the accord was the death of Beyond right there, I suppose. And there's just after our 67-minute game, now we have a 31-minute game <laughs> as the GPL has dropped. And uh, oh yeah, that's uh, that's something. I should put my coat on, shouldn't I? GG. Should. Box Tigers, they take it. Wow. Well, uh, that was the fastest best of three we've ever had. 31 minute best of three. I guess, Jumping right in, I and guess I guess we're so. done now, Noah. Who good knew? Good job, Rocks Tigers. <laughs> and good job, Jin Air. What a weird night. Yeah, that was a very strange night of what is this game? A League of Legends. There you go. Got it now. This little play, too, the max range cocoon. Just zipping along. And well, bam. I would have let him just die to the red buff. <laughs> I would have been like there. Your impending doom comes forward. Let the Brambleback take you. That's right. You are now father for the Brambleback. <laughs> <laughs> and this is why Peanut is number five in overall kills in this entire league. Yeah. Cool there, stuff. There's where Peanut would be sitting if he was in the studio, but he's not. No, nope, he's not. The, uh, just the, uh, the, uh, we, the spirit of Peanut, if you will. The spirit here. of Peanut. The spirit is of inside peanut. here. <laughs> All you bloodthirsty jugglers, you battle lords, the spirit right. of peanut is inside you. It will be with you always. <laughs> That's right. So I guess uh, now we got to wrap it up in what was definitely one of the weirdest days of League of Legends I've ever been a part of. Uh, absolutely. The games were weird. The transition was weird. 
Everything was weird, but, but we had fun. And in isn't the end, that the most important thing? It is the most important thing when it comes to esports to have fun, and we did that. We got to see Rocks Tigers. Wait, 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 wait. What? Getting really angry <laughs> about teams winning or losing and uh -huh. mad at pro players and insulting them. Th wait, that's not the fun part of esports. No. The most fun part of esports, and here, let me be real for a second, guys. Here's the real reason why we all love esports is because, the other way, we love watching people fight each other in video games. That's what it's all about. That's why it's fun. That's how I'm going to end things. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Well, I tried. There we go. <laughs>